to Wildwood! You and me, happy as can be, flying through the park. Rolling on the floor, practicing your somersaults, your cartwheels, your donkey kicks, and more. How did you grow so big overnight? How did you get so smart and bright? Yesterday you were asleep in my arms, today you're growing off the charts. So proud of you. You and me drawing pictures wild and free while the paint goes flying. Your big smile, it brightens up the room. You and me reading books in bed Your head on my shoulder, your eyes on the pages ahead Hi, I'm Tina Person. I am the director of Wildwood and I am so excited to have everyone here. Wildwood just comes alive with the kids. Um, I have a bachelor's in early childhood education and a master's in um, early childhood studies um, teaching adults. So it is just my passion and and who could not love this place and I know your kids will. We have an amazing, amazing staff and um, welcome. Hi, I'm Anna Chain and I am the assistant director at Wildwood. I'm also the lead teacher in the Younger Dome. I am coming into my 12th year at Wildwood and I have a background in um, physical education and nutrition. I've done bachelor degrees in both and also a postgraduate diploma in dietetics. And I'm just so excited to get to know your kids and teach them about all the great things we do outside. Do lots of cooking and nutrition with them and just have a wonderful year. Hi, my name's Jenny Card. Um, this will be 15 years at Wildwood. I've been in education for 30 years and just love being with the children. I am the lead teacher in the Older Dome and just absolutely love coming and visiting with you and your children every single day. And I look forward to this new year with you. If you have any questions, talk to me at any time. Thank you. Hi, I'm Linda Campbell and I'm a teacher in the Older Dome and I've been an early childhood teacher for 35 years and I love my job. Hi, my name is Julie Young and I am a teacher in the Older Dome. I'm going to be working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every other Thursday. Um, this will be my eighth year at Wildwood and I have lived in Aspen now for 10 years. Um, I moved here uh, 10 years ago with my family from Boulder and um, in Boulder uh, I was a kindergarten teacher. I worked in a uh, private school there as the reading and writing specialist. Um, I even taught art and I taught preschool there for about 12 years. So um, I guess you could say I have a varied background with children. Hi, my name is Tracy Silverman and I'm so happy to say this is my fifth year at the Wildwood School. I'm in the Older Dome. I'm certified in early childhood, special education, and elementary education. Um, feel free to reach out about your children and any questions you have. I love talking about them. Hi, my name is Anna Patterson. I'm in the Younger Dome. This is going to be my third year at Wildwood this year. Um, I've been teaching preschool for about 10 years and I have my master's degree in early childhood education. Okay, hi, my name is Rocio. I've been at Wildwood for um, 10 years and I'm in the Younger Dome. Hi, my name is Georgia McHenry. I'm a teacher in the Younger Dome and this is going to be my second year here at Wildwood. 
I studied early childhood education at the University of Texas in Austin, and I can't wait to meet you and your children and have a great year. Hi, and welcome to Wildwood School. We are so excited to have everyone. So we're gonna um, just mention some things that might be really helpful for you. So I will be in the office, and um, we have a new office assistant, Tanea. Um, so please call with any questions, email, uh, meet at the bus. Um, if you have any forms that need to be completed, any payments, um, reach out. We are always around and love, love to help you. Um, makeup days, I just want to explain that if your child comes three days a week, then um, they will have three days throughout the school year to make up. Um, if there is space um, and you would like an extra day, you can always pay for an extra day. But that also um, brings me to the point, if you're going to be out of town, let us know and then we can plug someone in as a makeup. It's, that's it, it all works out in that way. Um, the school calendar, um, we, we close for inclement weather. Um, along with the school district. So we will send out an email. We'll have it on our um, on our uh, phone. And um, also, you if you sign up for Pitkin Alert, that's a really great way because sometimes um, the schools close early and we get lots of forewarning. Um, so we'll also have teachers text you and make sure that everyone knows. We don't want anyone out on the roads at that time. Um, the communication at the bus, we are there for 15 minutes as kids load on. Teachers are all riding the bus, so they're having their own conversations with your kids. And that's a great time to communicate with um, one of the teachers that's out. Um, gosh, they had a, a late night last night. They might be sleepy. I will be at the bus if you have any questions or concerns. We have um, the great emails that you'll get with all the photos. You can always respond in that way. Um, on the sign-in, um, if you didn't get a chance at the bus or you forgot to talk about an early pickup or something, just write it in um, the sign-in that we do each day and I'll make sure to pass that along to teachers. And we have some great events coming up. Um, we have our board sponsored pizza party on September 8th and that's on a Thursday right after the bus from 4 to 5. We're right at Coke Park. Um, if it's not your day, please join us. We have a wonderful parent night. Um, teachers, they are, get really excited to show you what all we do in the classroom because that's kind of the invisible part. Um, so we're really, really excited that you're joining us and thank you. Hi, I just want to remind you that Wildwood is a nut-free school, so any snacks or lunch items that you bring with your child, just double check that they don't contain any nuts. And if your child has any dietary restrictions, please let us know. We want to stress the importance of packing nutritious snacks and meals um, and lunches. Please use a thermos to keep food items warm. We discourage sippy cups, pacifiers, and plastic bags. And please make sure to bring water bottles to school and bringing food in its simplest form is best. Hi, I'm gonna talk about birthday celebrations today and about labeling all your children's possessions. Um, we love celebrating birthdays with your kids and it's really fun for them to be able to share a treat with their friends when it's their birthday. Um, we need them to be store-bought and it's nice if we can just do a little something at towards the end of the day and of course you're welcome to be there as well. Uh, we prefer no candy or gifts just a little treat and that's perfectly fine. Um, also when we send out letters about clothing we when we say label everything we mean actually everything socks mittens underwear all of it 
and you have a bag at school that has your child's name on it for extra clothes and we do go through extra clothes quite often so we will tell you if we've used them up and that you need to send in more the next day if you borrow clothes from school there will be a ww on our clothes please bring those back as quickly as you can because we only have so many that we can use for kids who run out of extra clothes um i oh bedrolls label your bedrolls and anything anything you send into school hats coats just remember put your child's name on it and then we can get it right back to you thanks i'll talk about assessments home visits and parent teacher conferences assessments are done throughout the year to chart your child's progress Teachers use these to meet your child on their individual needs and be able to best support them. Home visits are done with each child at your convenience, and this is just to build a special connection between their conference teacher and themselves, and they can share a special lovey or a special activity that they like to do. We'll do this anywhere you're comfortable, if you choose to do it, at your home or in the park or even at, at the park after drop off at the bus. Um, we have two conferences during the year. Uh, the first one is in October, and this is really a, a goal setting conference. We meet for 15 minutes and we discuss um, goals, mutual goals that we would have for your children. We have a second conference in March, and this is um, where we give you your child's portfolio, and we chart their progress. The portfolio is chock full of pictures and samples of artwork, writing samples, any assessments, and it's just a wonderful keepsake of your child's life here at Wildwood School. Um, so this year, uh, and every year, we ask that you bring in a family photo of your child and your family. It could be an old Christmas card. Um, it could be a copy of a photo that you have. It could be anything. Um, and this is both for the younger and the older dome. And we have them displayed on a bulletin board. And um, they refer to them all the time and are always pointing and telling their friends, this is my brother, or my mother, or sisters. So it's really um, a great thing. And the kids really love having this. We are so happy to have parents back up here at Wildwood. It's been a rough couple years. So um, I want to let, we want to let all of you know that we love um, parent involvement in both classes. And it could be anything from coming up to read a book, um, doing an art project, maybe perhaps you have an expertise in your career. We've had parents that are doctors and nurses come in and show us what kind of clothes they wear, instruments. We've had firemen, policemen, um, the world is your oyster. So we, we really encourage you to um, check in with your teachers and come up and get involved as much as you can. Hi, I'm talking to you about Wildwood's philosophy. Our mission statement at Wildwood School is to create a happy, caring and nurturing preschool dedicated to the environmental exploration and artistic expression. We want children to have wonderful social interactions, experiment through play and have a good self-image. We want to create relationships with you, your child, the community and the staff. And we want your child to learn through play and at their own pace. We respect every child at where they're at and want to encourage and excite their curiosity to learn. We strive to provide developmentally appropriate activities and challenge and help all children learn. We respect all cultures and levels of development and the teachers here will love your child and we will be so happy to help them learn and grow. We are so privileged to work in this beautiful environment as you can see behind me and cultivate an appreciation of it too. So by encouraging all these things in this amazing environment, your child's gonna have an, an unbelievably good experience that they won't forget. Hi. Um, I'm going to talk about the Wildwood curriculum, in the, especially in the older dome. This follows a hands-on approach to learning. It teaches through nature awareness. Our daily lessons are based through the creative curriculum. That's an evidence-based preschool program. This incorporates social, emotional, physical, self-help skills, science, music, 
dance, drama, art, mathematics, language, literature, um, reading, processing skills, and kindergarten readiness, amongst many more things. Each four to six weeks, the classroom will bring in a new theme for the children to explore. We invite parents and families to join the class at any time by contacting one of our teachers. We look forward to a wonderful new school year and thank you. Okay, so just a few things about our morning bus routine. Um, when your child gets on the bus, we'll help them buckle up right away. The older domers will go to the back of the bus and the younger domers sit on the front of the bus. Um, we ask that your child not eat or drink on the bus as well, just because that can cause some critters to come onto our bus um, at night. Um, it's also really great to create, create a quick goodbye routine with your child at the bus just because when you linger, it can make the separation process a little bit more difficult in the morning. Um, if, and if your child is upset, obviously we're there to console them. And if the, in the unlikely instance they're still upset, when we get back up to school, we can give you a call just to keep you updated. Um, please don't send toys from home with your child to school just because they can get lost or broken. And then lastly, if your child has a medication, we will give you a doctor's form to sign and then make sure to give that medication to a teacher at the bus as opposed to putting it in your child's backpack. The sign-in will be sent as a Google Doc, um, so make sure that you check your emails um, every morning and you fill them out before you bring your kid to the bus. Um, also, our bus gets to Cove Park at 8.30 and we leave by 8.45 in the morning, so make sure that you're on time and we can get your kids to school by nine o'clock. Thank you. And just remember that pickup time is um, between 3.45 and four o'clock at Coke Park. How did you grow so big overnight?